Welcome insiders to Film Inside. I'm your host, Eric. Today we're going to be doing a review of a microphone that I'm really excited to get my hands on. It's by Aperture and it's called the A-Lab. <laughs> So the ALAV, opening up the box can be greeted with the case. There's a hard case that it comes with and opening up the case is where all the goodies are found. So that's the lavalier microphone, that's the audio module, that's the three cables that it comes with, a windscreen filter, and tape. Yes, even tape that you can use to tape on the lavalier microphone to your actor if you don't want to use an alligator clip which is just a nice touch, might I add. But directly looking at the lavalier microphone itself, when you take it out of the case, it's wrapped around this piece of rubber, which is really nice, it keeps it from getting tangled or anything. And with the cable mentioned, it's a 10 foot long cable, which should be more than enough cable length for anything you're really gonna be doing with it. Also, another note with the ALAV microphone is just how compact it is. It's relatively small, and I've used tons of lavalier microphones before that are really big and obnoxious. This is on the smaller side, and I really do like that. Transitioning to the control module though, the module is all made out of metal and has a really solid and unique design. It's rather compact, which I really like, and it has a 200 milliamp battery in it. This will power the lavalier microphone, so obviously you have to plug in the lavalier microphone to the module, and then the module acts as the output. So two of the cables that come with the lavalier microphone act as your output cable. One goes to a smart device, whether that's a phone or a tablet or a laptop, or there's another cable which will go to a recorder or a camera. But then there's a third wire that is a micro USB port, or you could also use that same port to plug in headphones to monitor or listen back to your recordings. But how do you set up the ALAV microphone? Well, let me show you how. So to set up the ALAV microphone, it's really simple. Obviously, you need to have the microphone on yourself or on your actor. People usually put lavalier microphones on someone's collar, maybe a little bit more down below. This is so the microphone is going to pick up your voice really well, but you don't want the microphone too close to your mouth because you don't want to have the audio muffled or distorted. But so once you have the lavalier microphone on you, you now need to plug it into the module. So you can plug it into the only input and once you do so, a green light will turn on indicating that the microphone is plugged in and that the module is charged. If the module is not charged, there's a charging port which you then need this micro USB cable. So you plug it in and then you actually need a micro USB cable to charge the device. Doesn't come with one, but that's fine. Uh, but if the module is charged and all, now you need to plug in the output. So there are two wires. Uh, this one has four pins on one side and three pins on the other. The four pins will go into the module and then the three pins will go into your camera or will go into a recorder. Now, if you want to use a smart device like your phone, I have an iPhone, uh, then you need this wire, which has four pins on both sides. So you plug in either four pin side into the module and then you plug in the other four pin side into your smart device whether that be an iphone an ipad ipod touch android phones etc but once you have the alive microphone connected to your phone connected to a recorder how does it actually sound so now i'm on the alive microphone obviously it's going to sound a lot different compared to like my rode video mic pro and this is just simply because of their different kind of microphones there's the shotgun microphone, which is the Rode Video Mic Pro, and then a lavalier microphone. That's really small, really compact, but it's really made to be focusing on my voice when the Rode Video Mic Pro shotgun microphone is gonna be focusing on my voice. It's gonna be focusing on uh, other sounds in the room. So it's gonna obviously sound different again. Let's go to another test though. So guys, now I'm outside, obviously, I'm shooting with the ALAV microphone, which is going to the module, which is then going to my iPhone. And I know quality is not ideal, I'm shooting outside. The reason I'm shooting outside though is first there are cars and stuff driving around, so you're gonna be able to hear how well this microphone is gonna pick up me compared to uh, the background sound. And also, I'm out here to emphasize that, yeah, the video quality might not be ideal, but as long as you can hear me, you can kind of understand what's going on. And depending on how you're making videos, how you're making films, audio is a very important aspect that should not be underlooked because there are times where if I have a crappy video but have good audio, then people are still gonna watch it. But if I have decent video but you can't understand at all what's being said, 
why would you watch this? So with the test concluding, how do you think this microphone actually sounded? Personally, I'm pretty impressed with this microphone. It does sound really good, especially for the price, which on Amazon right now, this microphone, the A-Lab, only runs for around 32, 35 bucks. But price even aside, I think the A-Lab microphone, yeah sure, it sounds pretty decent for the microphone it actually is. It has a lot of versatility, being able to plug into a recorder, into a camera, into a smart device like a phone, and also coming with a decent amount of accessories, like the tape, like uh, the wind filter, which is really nice on windy days. And another thing to mention is the module. I mean, there's a lot of microphones that have big, bulky packs they have to plug it into. This is really compact, really slick, really greatly designed. I can simply put it in my pocket, clip it onto me, clip it onto a camera accessory to uh, mount it somewhere. It's just really nice, really versatile, and I'm really excited to be using this in the future. But now with all of that said, what do I actually not like about the ALAV microphone? In all reality, I really do like the microphone and I don't have anything bad to say about it. Of course, could it have some better audio quality? Yeah, of course it can, but you're only spending $30 to $35, and for $30 to $35, you're getting a lot out of this lavalier microphone. It sounds excellent for the price. I really do like it. I like the accessories, I like the form factor, and I like the audio quality. Yeah, sure, if you spent $300 on a lavalier microphone, yeah, it's going to sound different. But this isn't that, this is a lower end lavalier microphone, but I shouldn't even say lower end because you're getting a nice amount of quality out of it, you're getting a lot of value out of this product, and again, I recommend it. So guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the ALAV microphone, leave that in the comment section below. If you want to check out the product, maybe even buy it, I'll have some links in the description. Anyway guys, that is Film Inside, I'll catch you in the next one.